created, you are created, you are a super intelligent creature that you fall here. Now the difference is that, I don't say it's a mistake, but it could be, or whatever it could be. See, humans being here is so, is so, so genius, so smart, that he fabricated a machine. And he created, he fabricated, invented what we call uh, the fuels. So I coined them, coined them under one name, a vehicle cannot run without uh, engine oil, without brake oil, without uh, uh, coolant, engine coolant, without all this. And if any, any, any of this, any, uh, just one of these fuels is depleted completely, you cannot run that vehicle irrespective of the brand, is a Rolls Royce, a BMW, whatever it is. Uh, I mean, you cannot. So that vehicle, performance will rely on based on the minimum amount of the fuels in addition to regular maintenance. All right? So, but you, this is the mistake what I consider. We have been victimizing ourselves. Whenever I fall, I feel something, you know, oh, go there, check, you blood, the blood sugar, take the, the man made fuel. That's a mistake what we have done as a human being. Yes, we have the technology to invent, to, I mean, as a human being, to invent, to explore, to, to fabricate, and so on, to do. The human has done a tremendous achievement. But when it comes to human, you are not a robot. You're not supposed to be touched. The moment I touch your body by means to solve what's the problem, I solve the symptoms, I create another problem. Then you become like a slave throughout your life, living to, and you don't find a solution. You pay money with the pay your pocket or your the insurance, whatever it is. But the fact is that you're suffering. You're suffering. How many times you see our loved one? I believe all of you, some way, somehow, you have your loved one. You don't like to see your mom or your dad or, your, or somebody with your loved one suffering, so called that has a diabetes or the cancers that they don't want, suffering and suffering for 10 years, 5 years, 20 years, 30, some of them for 40 years and say it's a chronic disease, you have to live with these pins. So it doesn't solve the root cause. So what we believe, you are not fabricated, you are created, they're super intelligent. But remember, we, what we discover is we focus into finding, studying, where did you come from? How your cell studied, it's that one cell, it's at the womb of your mother, that's all. Okay, so those fuels were formed exclusively, free. It's not a doctor provided, it's not a hospital where mama, the mom delivered, no. It is freely given. So you call, I don't know, you call God, you call universal power, you know, it's there. The, every human being, give me one human being who was formed, just came from the room of the mother, which is formed by God, uh, what uh, they call it, air or whatever it is. It's come one, united, we are all united into that form of creation and growth of the fetal growth. It's specifically, specifically the water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. That's the secret. That's the secret. Why? Okay, this is what we coined. That's the feature of the medicine we believe. So what we believe that the fields, the fields do not do the four essential elements of life. So we call them the four essential elements, the fuels of the human body. Are the essential human body's fuels that capable to revitalize the human body to maintain its physical, emotional, mental, spiritual well-being, PEMS, innate potentials. And uh, so what we believe is that being healthy is all this. It's possible. The physical you, the emotional you, the mental of your brain, and the spiritual. And all these are very important because the physical is about what? Your body, your activity, the energy that you have, and everything about maintaining your body, maintaining yourself, and cut down to obesity, which is obesity that should not exist, actually. So you're supposed to remain fit and active. And growing, and also cut the aging, yeah? we believe into that. Okay, we have one scientist, uh, Russian, who said, you know, based on who I, in our study, he took and said, yeah, we believe that is what you're talking, and he made a study, and he said, human can live 300 years and forget about uh, wrinkles. I, 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 there's more to explain there. So uh, the emotional, is the, all the hormones, that, about 50 hormones that plays a role, the way you think, the, what, you, what you think, how you adopt, how you cope, how you co coordinate, how you, how you interact with one another. You are a unique, she's unique, she's unique, you're unique. How you come together because you have a common goal. You're all still unique and it's same one another, irrespective of the differences you are. But you are unique. You have a value that's completely your ID. Your ID, your ID is completely unique. When you come to understand that what we believe, it puts you in a state of a higher state of understanding. The power of you, but also how you value the power of the other person, then you become better you. That's all. So, the mantle is about the brain. The brain. Your brain is a 
potential to do wonders. But you're giving your brain, are you giving your brain the fuel like a vacant? No. I'm sorry to say that. You know. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that. Okay, spiritual, the spiritual attachment, whatever your affiliation. There's nothing wrong. You are perfect. You are right because you've grown up into the environment. You believe what your parents or you. You want to shift it, but basically you want to shift up to you. But nobody should ever come and say you are wrong or you are wrong. You are wrong. That's the reason why I say I am in universal faith because I believe every person is completely unique in his spiritual or his spiritual touch. You attach into that attachment because that's nothing wrong. Things go wrong when we start to judge one another wrong. That's all. That, that's why, you, as a writer said, nothing goes wrong. Things start to go wrong when you start to think wrong. It's wrong to think about you wrong. You are unique. That's all. Okay. Now these uh, ele elements which you coined them, which you mentioned before, as you could see them, they fall under who could believe hot water. Nobody could believe. I'm saying the truth. This elixir of life, it is really one of the hidden mysteries of our life. Scientists, they even confused about understanding. They say. And whatever research has been done, there are a lot of uh, hidden mysteries. The water itself, as you see it there, when you add something, it's no longer water. When you change the temperature, it changes its credibility. It has one secret key. When it's boiled, it's going to kill you. When it's hot, I mean, when it's cold, whatever it is, I will explain there. Now, and I'm so glad to be here because of Osteopathic medicine, I used to tell them, hey guys, you kick me, I'll enter by the window. You kick me from the window, I'll find a roof to enter there. You know why? Because the spirit of the founder was a medical doctor, Andrew Taylor Steele. He was a medical doctor, and when he lost three of his, see, no pain, no gain. When he lost three of his children, he completely resolved himself from the medical industry. Actually, they, are, they, are kill, they have killed my children. The pain is gone through, We're losing your three children. Hey, come on, what's going on? I study medicine. No, 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 no. It's about what I study. This, have, this medicine is killed my children. Please Google that, you'll see. You'll be shocked. Osteopathic medicine, the founder, 1700 something. Andrew Taylor Steele. He made a big change. And that's the reason. When I go there, I see the portrait of Andrew. I say, his spirit's there. I'm talking to his spirit. I don't talk to you guys. Because they say, he discovered the system. Something was missing. It's the fuel. So that's why we look at ourselves as a missing puzzle. Everything by two. You are the body and soul. Everything is by two. Atom is about the what? Electron and proton. The neutron is just neutron. But the activity of that based on the pair of pair of electrons. So everything is by pair. So we believe that if finding this the missing part, that's a big change will happen too. We believe. Now why hot water? Why? That's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's me. Give me one human being. Please, give me one human being who didn't come from there. Give me one human being who is not from in the womb of the mother with the with so-called amniotic fluid. But when I study to find personality, what is the temperature of the water? What is the, the content of the water? Of the amniotic fluid is 99% water. Temperature is 37.5, 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is one degree Celsius higher than the body's temperature. So who made that water to become hot? We will see the secret. It's the apartment by itself. That's why we found the hot water or aqua BC. Now, aqua did not say which is a brand. Aqua, hot aqua. I give credit to my son, Kais, because Kais is. I say, Kais, we need to make a brand that will make. To, we don't want to talk about hot water, hot. You know, we need to create something unique. So we came to it. Hot aqua, Latin. Aqua, you know, so aquapathic. So it is the exclusive source of creation and growth. Without all this, your fetal growth will never take place. That cells that started from one to now your 100 trillion cells will never take place without that. Because it provides all these four elements. Now, the reason is that because it destroys, the exclusively destroys harmful bacteria, kills um, fat, the fat process, because they're not to explain about this scientifically, and uh, neutralize toxins. Now, what is that to? Take all these fuels. What do they do to your body? Now you start to look at yourself. Oh yeah, I mean that is super intelligent machine. I'm not a human-made artificial human, human robot that I need to run with the human-made fuels. Same as a vehicle. No, I'm who am I? So I'm running because my body runs on this. I need to keep my system to run. My brain, everything is part of my body to function because when I need to provide to make sure that I have all this. So what does the water, what science say? Nobody will say, Ferris, you are wrong. This is where we, 
we, we believe we need to tackle. To, the right place is to approach this science. So that's why we try to approach it, to say, we have the two, we find, who is, can say no? Who can say that, what, look, very, very, very interesting. Water, what does the water about your lungs, about your brain, about your blood, about your bones, about everything, it's about water, you're dry fish, so 75% water. Dr. Babbinglis is telling about, oh, you are not sick, you are first, you are not treat first with medication, so that beginning of change of the game. But again, he did about the research about water. Change of temperature changes everything. But again, we give credit to whatever we, information we, we got because we gained from them. Now, oxygen, what does oxygen do to your body? Look at the oxygen. You know, your lungs, your, your red blood cells, they transport oxygen to every part of your cell, you know, and uh, which is the RBC, red blood cell. The brain, look at the atmosphere, you do not get a clean, if you live in the cleanest place of Earth, on Earth, like this place, a clean environment, you only get 21%. You do not get 100%, the only way, exclusively. We'll talk about that quickly. So, the entire body's mass, is oxygen is 65 percent heart, which is how the heart or aqua vitalized therapy that exclusively provide 100 percent oxygen, 100 percent. That's why see rich people want to live near the sea because that's where the water cycle starts. The water, oxygen, hydrogen, so you get the better oxygen. The feel when you got near the sea, you by just looking at the water, you feel amazing. You want to meditate, go near the water, you feel amazing. You know what? Because your body is still drinking cold water. When you look at the water, and that's where life, everything, every living organism, every living organism. So, uh, Antoine was a two scientists. I mean, he's a French scientist who discovered who, at that time. He was talking about the oxygen split and so on. So he said, water is formed when oxygen burns hydrogen in the living system. That's all. Water cycle. So we say, okay, conversely, water and oxygen are split through the energy. That's all. So the water cycle. So the carbon cycle, as you could see, everybody knows about that, about the sunlight and so on, the plants are getting, I mean, when you look at my number on one, two, three, four, and so on. So when you look at number two, is that the, the, the plant they absorb, okay, the heat of the sun, the ultraviolet, okay? So these plants, they have water, okay? The water, as you see, number one, they go to number two, the water with the sun, with the sun because of the carbohydrate, uh, water, I mean, what is added to the carbohydrate to, pro, I mean, to, uh, to produce carbohydrate. And carbohydrate absorbed by the animals, and then they, uh, they uh, release the CO2. And uh, I mean, the, I mean, if you see, let's go, so I'm not confuse you. You see, number two is the water is added to carbohydrate to produce carbohydrate because to the plants. And the carbohydrate are, are consumed by the plant, but by the animals, and animals, they release CO2, which is carbon dioxide. A carbon dioxide, again, is absorbed by the plants. And the, we go number six, the carbon within the carbohydrate, which is his carbon, carbon and oxygen. So oxygen, carbon is released again and being added to the carbohydrate to make more carbohydrates. And the oxygen is released in the atmosphere. So we have oxygen in the air. But Albert the George, who got a Nobel Prize, he said, actually, the carbon cycle is the hydrogen cycle. He got a Nobel Prize, you may Google that and find out. He did amazing studies about hydrogen. So he said, actually, when you look here, number one, so uh, the sunlight causing the, number, number two, so which is making the water in the plants to become heated up. So temperature is raised, you know. So the moment is temperature start to raise, it's split, you see here, that's a very important. It's split between oxygen, and oxygen is released in the atmosphere. Hydrogen is added to the carbons, uh, to, be, to produce all the carbohydrates. That's all. So that is actually the carbon cycle is actually the, 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 it's the hydrogen cycle. So when we, we bring in a formula, so sunlight, which is a heat, produce heat, the energy added to the water, causing the water and uh, oxygen, hydrogen to split. So, so if we look careful here, the how the vitalize the water that you drink. So when you look careful here, is that because water you know, composed of hydrogen and oxygen, two atoms, hydrogen and one atom oxygen, they split, you may be seeing it's weird, but we'll bring a research about uh, from the University of California, but they did about the, the what you call the pH value and how the hydrogen side and hydrogen, you know, so the hydrogen ions. So when you look carefully here, the, the, when you start to implement the water therapy, is the same what happened to your body about the enzyme, I don't know if you know about this. You know, enzyme, a protein in your body, they break down the food, they break down the proteins, and they break down, oh, they break down. 
So to break down the proteins to produce amino acid, to break down the fat to produce amino, uh, to produce the fatty acid, to break down the, the carbohydrate to produce uh, uh, glucose, which is good for your body, sugar for your body. Again, break down all this to produce energy. So we talk about four functions. You know, all these four functions is to produce energy. And out of these four functions, one, which is the amino acid. So amino acid, in addition to be broken down to produce energy for the cells, in addition to build up the muscles and the cells. So three or quarter of that, your energy is needed from, the, from this. So the how to provide the clean energy? You know, so through the metabolism, enzyme, as we talk about it here, you know, as you could see. So, okay, this is a research from the University of California. They talk, talk about the power of hydrogen, and they talk about, this is very important, because when I was studying to do some lectures, some presentations, some university, uh, some colleges, there, there was too much controversy. They first, no, you cannot split hydrogen and oxygen. It's very clear. So what they found is very interesting. When you increase the temperature, if you look carefully here, the water in which boiling point is 6.1 for that meat turns acidic. Acidic means below 7.4, okay? And everybody's health is to about uh, your hydrogen power, means the pH value of you should be maintained between 7 and so on, should be here, your pH. So there's too much controversy understanding, this understanding that the water becomes acidic, exclusive. You know, why? They say because as the water temperature increases, the pH decreases, it doesn't mean that it turns acidic, but the reason is a bit because of the vibration of the molecules of the water that make the pH and pOH. So pH is power of hydrogen, where pH, uh, pOH is the, the hydroxide, uh, hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions. So you see the oxygen hydrogen split into hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, but the value is the same. And since the value is the same, it's natural, so it doesn't turn acidic. You see, amazing. So, I mean, so nobody should fight and say hot water is acidic. No, it's not acidic because of that. You know. Right. So uh, this is about hydrogen. I guess George got a Nobel Prize about his hydrogen is actually, that's the missing part. Hydrogen, pool, that your, it store, your organs are store hydrogen. The largest is in the liver because liver protects you from the, oh, the toxins. So he found that uh, our, our organs are store hydrogen, uh, hydrogen pool. The largest of that is the liver followed by others and so on as you can see. And now the entire uh, universe, I mean atoms, is made up of hydrogen 67%. So the entire universe. And uh, he found that hydrogen is the most powerful antioxidant. But he didn't say where you get the hydrogen. So we discovered the hydrogen comes from the hot water when you start based on that. Why? Because he says it's the lightest element. And he said Nobel Prize in 1937. He said actually all living cells, they need energy to function and for the maintenance of the structure. And the, and the body only knows one fuel, the hydrogen. Only one fuel, the body. And without hydrogen, the entire cellular fabric will collapse completely. So he didn't say where you got hydrogen, but I got information from him. I learned from him about the hydrogen, and when we discover the hydrogen from the hot water, because again, why? He say when he you see here carefully, he said, I will grow older, we lose hydrogen depletion. He called it hydrogen depletion. So I was so curious on this. And oh yes, what means the younger the age you are, you, you have more hydrogen. Why 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 it's not there's no way to maintain that. Because the exclusive way is the way you were born in the womb, I mean, you were formed in the womb of your mother through the amniotic fluid, which is hot water that provides hydrogen and oxygen. So the exclusively the hydrogen, you get oxygen, okay, fine, even though it's uh, not enough, but okay, you get it. Water, okay, fine, we drink water, okay, but uh, energy, you get the sun bathing, uh, you know, sun, sunshine, you get the metabolism, we get energy from different sources. But one thing is missing hydrogen, there's no other source, that's what we proclaim. No other source to maintain hydrogen. Only one is through the hot water. It looks, it looks funny, but it's a fact. Power of nature to maintain. So, and what he found, uh, he talked about hydrogen because it's the most powerful antioxidant. Everybody who knows about to maintain their health, they think about the free radicals. Every day, you have 100 billion cells that grow to replace the cells that die. We call apoptosis. And he found that the reason of, because of uh, what you call the, 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 the free radicals, which is the cause of all, what do you see? All diseases, so-called diseases, is because of hydrogen missing. Because he found that the hydrogen donates an electron within an, a pair of, um, inside the cell, you know, you, know, you have uh, you know, atoms, and inside the atom you have a pair of, pair of electrons and neutrons. 
So it become radicalized, it become free radicals when, when you get the flu, you get a sickness, anything abnormal in your body, even through metabolism, you go through free radicals. When you go through free radicals, they found that the hydrogen donates a free radical and instead of becoming impaired, becoming paired to protect the, you know, to protect the, the entire cellular fabric. So that's a very important because everything in the universe is from the atom and you made up of atoms because made of cells and cells made up of atoms. And when you go through the laws of thermodynamics about the energy shift, it shift from hot body to cold body and thermogenesis to maintain uh, I mean, the generation production, and production of heat uh, through the production of heat uh, uh, through, uh, by physiological process means you only do activity is thermogenesis. So again, you need that. It's part of the one of the source of energy. And then uh, another thing is that uh, who says that color is not related to hot water? That's look at the calorie. Everybody think about how much calorie I take, how much calorie I burn, and so on. You, you think about that. Yeah. That's the definition of calories of water and hot temperature. Is the energy our body needs while raising the temperature of one gram of water? One gram water droplet from 14.5 to 15.5. Every one degree, every one gram is one calorie. Why not below 14? Because it's cold. Because it's cold, so water colds. That's it. As you could look, uh, look carefully here, the water that we recommend 50 degrees Celsius, 122, the body's temperature based on the laws of thermodynamics about energy shift from hot body to exclusively shift the energy to your body. You need that continuously, energy. And the hot water maintain your energy exclusively by hydration because you keep hydrating as the same time you maintain the energy because you're expanding that energy, you know, it's being used all the time as you speak, as you do, whatever you do, activities, everything, your brain is the highest amount of energy. So that you need continuum energy and that continuum energy is provided by maintaining the therapeutic methods of drinking hot water. And when you look carefully here, as when you add a heat to a system, so you add a heat to your body, it either changes the internal energy or it does cause the system to do work above. So that's when really people that do exercise is because they are made of what? Three quarter water, 75 percent water. So when you do through physiological activity, you feel hard. And now say, I'm speaking, I feel hard. I mean, it's quite, quite hard, but I mean, the more I speak, I feel hard. I mean, when you do activity, you feel more hot because every part of your body that's inside the body, you have water, 75 percent water. Every droplet, every drop of the water that raises the temperature, to be, you know, that's a calorie. So keep on burning calories. So that water begins to burn calories by hydration exclusively. Do exercise, enjoy exercise, but that's the exclusive. Because if you don't do a practice this, you only do ex rely on exercise. After specific time of years, you become completely dehydrated, and not just dehydrated, dehydrated, and there will be some kind of complication. Sometimes you start to feel the symptom, knee pain, I don't know what, you know, come, no, inflammation, like that. Is your body sending a message, something is missing. Now, when you look carefully here about the energy, how water provides you the cleanest energy ever. Whereas the food we eat, yeah, nothing wrong to eat the food, but the way we're eating is wrong. Bye-bye to lunch and dinner. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you don't eat all that food away. You eat, just you want to do a cheating day to eat. I mean, a party, whatever it is. But on a daily activity, there's nothing called breakfast time or lunch time or dinner time. Eat when you crave because, again, it's all that we talk about. The four activities uh, is for, to provide the energy for the, for the cells. Now, you have all this just to provide you clean energy, not, not, not toxic substance, substances. So here you have toxic substances. These are the ones that represent most of the, the dysfunction of our body from here. Toxifying our cells. Every cell is toxified because of the metabolic waste that are not released when, from the food that you eat. When we look about the mental health, uh, 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 the cognitive ability, the memory improvement, who doesn't want to increase his capability? But are you providing the fuel about your brain needs? Your brain relies on 20% oxygen, this water, ox hydrogen. And all these are provided through by vasodilation. When you start to do the hot water therapy, is that the plasma, which is a, is a river, you know, is 92% water, it transports that, all these. are transported to the brain neural system. And the brain uses when you look at this and look at this, it's the highest. Because your brain is used all the time. The way you, even when you sleep, you, you know, you, you know, subconscious drive you because you have like, you're starting to think, you know, what am I going to be next? When I, what I'm, I want to do business or to join a place, which place I'm going to join and so on. So become, you start to think too much. So your brain doesn't sleep. So you're using, you need too much. You, the moment you provide the fuel to your brain, that's why you say you turn a super genius. Because you provide the fuel. Imagine about the vehicle, it needs to be revitalized, maybe to maintenance and so on, and provide the fuel. Here it's a natural fuel that you provide to your body, that's all. So, like, quickly, this is about the hormonal changes, everything, 
about you know how we can pick it to feel they live the life of the happiest ever that you whatever you achieve you know. that's all mm. this is about the universe about the empedocles uh, which is well known about the four classical elements so we can we correlate together what we discover about the human body when it's from the womb of the mother because of this uh, to, i mean from here and we are here since we are at 7.8 billion population and keep on increasing. So we play a big role in terms of we are correlated, all this related with everything with our beautiful solar system, but something is missing. Is you see here is related to what? All the cyclones happening. And again is the water. The water. So there is energy that driving to become like that. Something is balance, imbalance. And that imbalance because the populations increase and the people say you have to be populized. No, you don't need to be populized. You need to acquit them. People, because 7.8 billion on this Earth planet, they need this. The moment is most of the people on the planet they start to go back to the power of nature, I means go back to the way we created of our mother, and start to maintain that psychopathic medicine, we start to create a beautiful, 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 really, correlation between the four classical elements and the entire universe. Because everything is from here. Everything here, and this is where we're here. That's all. You know, it's a simple, simple, but okay. So if you add, the, if you add anything to the water, it becomes herbal. Tea is herbal. Okay, enjoy your tea, but it will never substitute the water you need to drink. So it could be, it's become herbal. So and it could be toxic. You can imagine you add just oxygen to the water. Oxygen is not non-toxic, and it's one of the molecules that form the water. But to oxygen of the molecule, or, uh, or oxygen molecule. Means you added extra molecules. This is water. You add another molecule, just as oxygen. What happened? It's a hydrogen peroxide. It's a toxic. You're gonna drink hydrogen peroxide. You'll die. You know. So the temperature also cold is harmful. Hot is what we need, and warm is natural. That's all. So you see the secret. These are the secret. So it does all this function, and that's all. These are just the myth. The method. That's all. So thank you so much in this part of the memo we have with the osteopathic medicine and this work with our vision, which we explain. So I've been talking quite uh, too much. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to talk very fast, but it takes time. I'm really sorry that I passed the time. You know, I know your time you always calculate based on one hour that you're gonna meet. You know, but, hmm. yeah. So this just was uh, something to yourself to understand. You know, uh, because as we felt as uh, an appreciation for what you're doing to us, it's an, we're honored to that, that you choose the project. You could have chosen any other project. But you accepted to choose. Thank you so much. I have no word to say than to thank you so much for this. And uh, uh, I will make sure that I provide you all the information. And if you need anything from my side in terms of information, and uh, I will do my best to provide you. And uh, I believe we focus into the yellow sulfur to do the wellness center, the wellness uh, lodging spa. Because the land is there, because it's an offer for sale, and if we have an opportunity that we grab that, and we have a communication with one uh, company in Dubai, which is doing the financial uh, broker, and they try to, uh, there are some requirements, which we have, again, we have to make sure, because of, again, putting money into paying some upfront fee, and then we don't know how, you know. We try to be cautious about the money spent, at the same time, Make sure who is the one approach us in terms of providing the funding. So we're, we're focusing to, to funding. You know, one is either by loan, and that could be attracted easily because it's a real estate development, the land. So I'll send you the information. Uh, I have it here, but because I don't want to take much of your time, you know. So if the owner was doing some kind of preliminary plan to subdivide into 32 to uh, 30, 35 lands, and in Blacksburg, this area has a huge demand of accommodation. We have been seeing everywhere whenever a new development comes quickly sold out so we found that could be quick for quick return of investment and we can benefit by availing the dropping of the tax the 25 percent state tax uh, 25 and 20 state and federal tax because if you renovate in a, a or not, uh, 200 years 200 almost 200 years uh, building you renovate so you, you uh, it's good because you get you, you revamp the tax number two also you increase the value of the place because the spirit of the place has historic attachment with virginia tech with the entire place here and can be used maybe like for uh, as a accommodation for like uh, you know, because it has many rooms, or could be like a restaurant, and then we can do uh, the wellness center within that area. 
to build up a wind stand top business because the land is quite big, it's 52 acres. It's got a big land. It's just in the middle of the city. And um, the students who helped us the last year, they did a great job, honestly. We thank them a lot. Uh, that time, maybe clarity of the picture.